which Moses was just filled with a lot of self-doubt. And so really it was a situation where after the burning bush, God got very upset with Moses because Moses kept saying, well, who am I? I stutter, I don't speak well, why should people? And God was like, look, <laughs> be quiet i formed i mean he just went on this huge tangent about who he was because moses just would not believe that god saw this in him so really a part of god's plan is oftentimes is when god calls us we don't need to self-doubt because that can actually hinder god's plans jesus i mean god told him to do something and Moses started, and this was like for the fourth time. This is a different part of the story. Moses started this, I can't, who am I? What if, I mean, just all this question. And then God was like, yo, just get Aaron to do it. Because I think that Moses' doubt was really getting on God's nerves. And therefore, it's like, I can't even have your doubt affect in this situation. Let me get somebody who does believe in. Because Moses really doubted himself. And therefore, he kind of had to share the spotlight with Aaron, even though God had already chose him. But because he kept fighting back and forth, and telling God what he was not capable of, God gave some of the responsibility to somebody else. And so I think that's something that we can take on as well is that whenever we doubt ourselves or say that we can't, or whatever the case may be, then God will specifically be like, you know what? I'm going to give this responsibility to somebody else because I need for this to be done. I chose you, but if you don't want to do it because we have free will, then I could just simply find somebody else. And so that's what we want to be careful of because I believe that... Um, you know, having a, this attitude can really cheat you out of some blessings.